Hello! Para sa video na ito, we will be uh, discussing, illustrating congruent triangles. So, emphasize lang natin yung, um, yung word na congruent. Okay? So, if you say congruent, ito, si congruent, gumagamit siya ng symbol na ganito. Okay? Yan yung symbol ng congruent. So, kung napapansin natin, yung congruent symbol is a combination of the equal sign and the similarity symbol. Meaning, masasabi lang natin na congruent ang dalawang bagay o dalawang triangle if and only if they are equal and they are also the same size and shape. Okay. So, in the website, byjus.com, uh, may binigay sila na definition ng congruence of triangles. So, accordingly, two triangles are said to be congruent if all three corresponding vertices or corresponding sides are equal and all the three corresponding angles are equal in measure. So, we can slide, rotate, flip, and turn these triangles to look identical. If reposition, they coincide with each. Other. So, meaning, um, if may dalawang uh, triangle tayo, uh, they are said to be congruent if yung tatlong corresponding sides at tatlong corresponding angles sila ay equal in measure. Or, if cut out, cut out lang sila ng triangle, so we could rotate, flip, or slide them. Tapos, pag in-overlap natin yung dalawang triangle, they should look identical and they coincide with each other. So, Halimbawa, yung dalawang triangle natin dito, ito yung black outline na triangle, tapos si red outline na triangle. Okay? So, pag rinotate natin tong isang to, itong si red triangle, tapos, reneposition natin at kino-inside sa pangalawang, ay sa first na triangle, they look identical. Right? Once we rotated the second triangle and we reposition them, they coincide with each other. So, Ito yung halimbawa ng congruent triangle. So, these two triangles right here are congruent. Okay? So, if we um, label these two triangles, halimbawa, the first triangle, this is triangle um, ABC. Tapos, yung second triangle naman natin, this is triangle DEF. Right? So, para i-emphasize naman natin yung corresponding sides tapos si corresponding angles. So, um, kung naaalala natin, once we overlap these two triangles, kung napapansin nyo, ba? So, itong mga vertex na to, ito, si vertex A, ba? Ito, si vertex A ng first triangle, it is corresponding to the vertex D, ba? This is D, yan. Vertex D of our second triangle. Yan. Ito, ito. Tapos, ito namang pangalawang vertex natin. Si vertex B ng black triangle natin ay corresponding siya dito sa vertex, anong vertex? Vertex E. Ito. Si vertex E ng ating second, tri uh, second triangle. Lastly, si vertex C naman ng ating first triangle ay corresponding sa ating vertex F sa ating second triangle. So, if we write it in symbols, um, vertex A corresponds with vertex D, vertex B corresponds with vertex E, tapos si vertex C naman corresponds with vertex F. Okay? Why are we um, looking or emphasizing the corresponding vertices? Kasi, once we have identified yung corresponding vertices natin, mas madaling maisulat or ma-determine yung corresponding sides at corresponding angles ng ating dalawang triangle. Okay? So, para mas klaro, lagyan natin ng markings yung dalawang triangles natin. Kasi di ba, when we overlap them, nakita naman talaga natin that these two triangles are congruent. And this, these three pairs are also corresponding vertices. So, lagyan natin ng markings ang kanilang angles and sides to make it um, clearer. Okay? So, angle A is equal or congruent to angle D. Diba? Kasi nung in-overlap natin, diba? Sila naman yung equal yung measure dyan. Right? Balik natin yun si angle D. 
Tapos, si angle B naman, congruent naman siya sa angle E ng second triangle. Tapos si angle C, congruent naman siya sa third or angle F ng second triangle. So, kung napapansin nyo, um, we have three sets of different markings. Okay? Pag parehas yung marking ng dalawang angles, meaning dyan is equal sila or congruent sila. Okay? Yung sides naman. Si side AB, yan, is congruent with side DE. Tapos si side BC is congruent with side EF. Lastly, side AC is congruent with side DF. Right? So, again, pag pareha sila ng markings, meaning dyan is congruent sila or equal sila. Paano natin nalaman yung markings, markings na yan? Kasi, nung in-overlap natin yung dalawang triangle, right? ba? Yan yung mga corresponding parts nila. And we have found out that these two triangles are equal. So, that means, Yung corresponding sides din nila ay equal. Balik natin siya para mas klaro. Okay? Pag sinulat naman natin yan into, into symbols, so we could say uh, that angle A, punta muna tayo kay angle, angle A is congruent with angle D, angle B is congruent with angle E, angle C is congruent with angle F. So, ito yung corresponding congruent angles natin. Let's proceed to the corresponding congruent sides. So, side AB is congruent to side DE. Yan, di ba? Similar, eh, pareha sila ng markings. Okay? Tapos, side BC is congruent with side EF. Tapos, side AC is congruent with side DF. So, these are now the three corresponding congruent angles tapos the three corresponding congruent sides. Okay? And paalala lang, when we write the congruent statements, make sure na yung order ng vertices natin is same din ng order ng vertices sa pangalawang triangle. Okay? Ano yung guide natin dito? Um, Kaya natin in-identify in kanina yung corresponding vertices kasi yun yung guide natin eh. Okay? A corresponds with D. So kung napapansin nyo, si angle A then is congruent and corresponding to angle D and so on. Dito naman tayo sa pagsulat ng sides. ba? A, B. So therefore, sa pangalawang triangle, we also have the corresponding and congruent side na DE. Since A is corresponding with D, so dapat... Ganyan yung order nila. Di pwede na mag-exchange or mag-rearrange tayo ng vertices dahil hina-highlight natin yung corresponding vertices. Okay? So this means if we will write the overall congruent statement, si triangle ABC, ito yung first triangle natin, is congruent with triangle DEF, which is our second triangle. And let me emphasize, Yung order ng kanyang vertices, di ba? Vertex A corresponds with vertex D. So, dapat sila yung nauuna. You follow that? Tapos, si angle B naman, ay si vertex B corresponds with vertex E. So, same order pa rin. Pa rin. Lastly, si vertex C naman corresponds with F. So, same talaga yun ang order. Okay? So, let's have more example. In here, um... May markings na tayo eh. So, I think hindi na ito masyadong problema. Okay? So, first is we have to identify the corresponding vertices. Kagaya kanina. And yung mga identical markings na to, ito yung magiging guide natin to identify this corresponding part. So, if we overlap these two triangles, ano naman yung mga vertices na corresponding? So, guide natin yung mga symbols ha. So, let us identify. Uh, label natin corresponding vertices. Ano yung mga corresponding vertices natin? Angle Y corresponds with angle M. Eh, no, vertex Y corresponds with vertex M. So, yung mark, same markings lang yung guide natin. Tapos, si vertex E corresponds with vertex A. Tapos, vertex S corresponds with vertex T. 
So these are now our corresponding vertices. Now let's write the corresponding congruent sides or angles na lang tayo muna. Okay? So same markings, that means they are congruent with each other. So angle Y is congruent with angle M. Angle E is congruent with angle A. Angle S is congruent with angle T. Tapos pumunta naman tayo sa sides. Um, I-continue na lang natin to, no? Kasi wala na tayong space. Okay? So in here, same markings pa rin. Side YE is congruent with with side, si YE. Ano yung identical marking niya? MA. Side ES is congruent with side AT. Side YS is congruent with side MT. Okay? Again, paano natin na determine yung corresponding congruent angles and sides. So, yung guide natin is yung identical markings at tapos yung corresponding vertices natin. Okay? So, with this, we could say that ang triangle YES is congruent. Hindi na, okay, triangle MAT. Yan. So, masasabi natin na congruent tong dalawang triangle na to kasi... Nakita natin yung three corresponding angles niya at three corresponding sides niya ay congruent din. So, emphasize ko na naman that ng corresponding vertices should be highlighted, right? So, in here, um, vertex Y is corresponding with vertex M, E with A, tapos S with T. Okay? So, I think that's it. E, S tapos AT, tapos YSM. Okay? Let's proceed to the next example. So, in here, um, we will still identify the corresponding um, vertices and the congruent sides and angles. So, since may given na tayo ng congruent statement, I guess mas madali na itong masagutan, no? Even without the illustration. Okay? So, emphasize na lang natin paano kunin yung corresponding vertices. So, looking at the congruent statement, so in here, kung ano yung order ng vertex ng first triangle, yun din yung order ng vertex ng second triangle natin. That means, um, vertex A corresponds with vertex E, vertex F corresponds with vertex F, and vertex K corresponds with K. Bakit may pare-parehas pare pare na vertex dito? Kasi kung napapansin niyo sa illustration, they are sharing the same side, which is FK. That means we are they are also sharing the same vertex, si F at si K. So let's write it. Yung corresponding vertices natin ay um, A corresponds with E, F corresponds with F, and K corresponds with K. And now let's write the corresponding um, congruent sides and angles. So, kahit walang marking yung illustration natin, pwede lang natin gamitin yung congruent statement. Okay? So, same order pa rin. So, angle A is congruent with angle E. Angle F is congruent with angle F, and angle K is congruent with angle K. Kung napapansin nyo, uh, may dalawang um, congruent statement tayo in which the two angles are the same, right? Because they share the same vertex. So, para mas klaro, um, mas mabuti na we will write these angles with the three vertices, okay? So, ano yung angle F? na sinasabi natin sa first triangle. Diba? Ito yon, Right? And angle F here could also be named as angle A, F, K. Ano naman yung second angle ng, uh, yung F naman ng second triangle, ito naman yun. Right? Could also be named as angle E, F, K. Para mas klaro. 
yung pangalawang triangle, uh, pangalawang angle naman na same lang. So, name din natin to using three vertices. So, ito yun, di ba? Yan. So, angle K in the first triangle could also be named as angle AKF. Tapos, ito namang K ng second triangle could also be named as angle EKF. Why are we emphasizing naming the angles with three vertices? Kasi, um, para mas klaro kung anong, which angle talaga yung pinipoint out natin, knowing that they are just sharing the same vertices. So, pag ganito na nagsishare sila ng vertices, mas maayos or mas klaro if we write these angles using three vertices. Okay? Now, let's proceed to the sides. So, side AF is congruent with side EF. In here, I'm just looking at the congruent statement, right? Since first two ver uh, first two sides AF, first two, uh, first two vertices din dito is EF. So, they are also congruent and corresponding, okay? Tapos, si side FK is also congruent with side FK. Lastly, we have side AK is congruent with side EK. So, these are now the corresponding vertices and the corresponding congruent angles and sides of this triangle. Okay? And the last example. So, dito, wala na talaga illustration. So, we will just um, determine it using the congruent statement. So, in here, um, angle uh, vertex A corresponds with D. So, kung ano yung order lang, ha? same lang yan. Vertex B corresponds with E. Tapos, vertex C corresponds with F. So, if you write it in symbols... Um, vertex A corresponds with B. Vertex B corresponds with E. Tapos si vertex C corresponds with F. Then writing the corresponding sides and angles. Okay. So, in here, angle A is congruent with angle D. Angle B is congruent with angle E. Angle C is congruent with angle F. So, same order lang yan natin sa ating corresponding vertices. Let's proceed to the side. Side AB is congruent with side DE. Pwede din tayong tumingin dito, right? Si AB, so corresponding din siya or congruent to AD. Ay, DE, okay? Tapos, si, pag BC naman, so first triangle, so kung ano yung order, yun din yung corresponding congruent sides niya. Lastly, si AC then, right? Side AC is congruent with side DF. Okay? So yan na yung answer niya. So these are now the corresponding vertices tapos the corresponding congruent sides and angles of the given congruent statement. So... I think that's all with our illustrating congruent triangles. So see you sa next video natin. Thank you very much, everyone.